Good morning, everybody. How many times have you driven down Brookville Road and seen that this little place on the side of the road? Well, now we have come inside. It is a, well, it's sort of a classic old diner look. Yes. Danny Iria, good morning, sir. And Greg Cadoza, good morning, guys. Good morning. I have to sort of repeat what we've talked about all morning. Sitting right here <laughs> is something that many people watching will recognize. Tell me what it is. Chocola. Ch not, not the Chocola. Yes, the Chocola. The, the original, very the one Chocola. And same recipe, same everything. And to telescope the story is the reason you have it is? Dan. Go ahead. The reason we have it is because we needed something to attract people to this small location that you call a dive. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and you Everybody call a dive. Everybody calls a dive. But how did you get the name and the recipe? It really, really Shorten it up, okay. basically. Yeah, the trademark was available. Right. So I picked it up, and then uh, you bought it for a couple hundred bucks. A couple hundred bucks. Yeah. And then the recipe came uh, a little bit later when I called up the original uh, inventor's son. Wow. Mm -hmm. And then you started making it because oh. who gave you the formula again? The the owner's son, he, who was the plant manager of the facility at Churchman and the original the inventor's son yeah. is who gave us the right. formula. Right. All right, I'm going to take another sip. Okay. What if someone were to say, "How is this different from Yuho <laughs> or or chocolate milk?" I, Give I, your best pitch. I describe it as it's the same as Yuho except it tastes good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And, and our product has some nutritional content. It's got milk. It's 40 percent milk, as a Yuho does not. So I didn't know that. Yes. Is that yes, right? Yes, it does. Okay. So to wrap this up, because this has been an amazing story, your hope now is. Uh, because the truth of the matter is you potentially are sitting on a gold mine. Oh, yeah. So what's your hope and what's the problem? We want to be able to manufacture it on our own. And we yes. don't have a manufacturer right now. Uh, it's a, Except for you. Except yes. for me. <laughs> I, I am it. Yeah. <laughs> we went through two different manufacturers and for whatever reason the relationship just didn't last very long. So yeah. we'd love to make it ourselves. Okay. But uh, you know, we're looking for somebody else to to get us through that bridge. But you say you're not, but you you do have it in the can in here. Is that for people who come well, in? No, this, this is what used to be manufactured. Right. Oh, that's the way it used to be. be. Yes. This is our former manufacturer. Oh, yes. We lost, for, yes. like Greg said, for yes. reasons outside their control and outside our, our control. control. Right. Okay. Um, can I change the subject for one second? Sure. Why do you have your yearbook here? Well, I thought it would be an interesting story. Uh, just to give a little background on how me and Danny met. Yeah. We both uh, grew up in Beach Grove. So why uh, is that a big deal? Well, at the time, I was the only black going to Beach Grove in the entire <laughs> class, really? entire city, actually, where my family was at. Yes. Is, that is another story. Mm -hmm. Can I come back here another day and talk to you about that? I'd love to. That's a great story. Okay, we're going to be back, not in this show, but in another show with Greg to talk about an incredible <laughs> life story <laughs> yes. in, in Beach Grove, Indiana. We'll be back.